You know, I think the frustrating part was just how good I felt and, and uh, you know, not being able to compete and, right. and play. Uh, you know, you're watching, you're watching your teammates who you, uh, you know, who I love being around and love competing with and, and you know, love putting the uniform on next to and, and running out to uh, the mound at City Field. It, it's, uh, it was a pretty low point, but I think, uh, the way that things felt, the way my body was recovering and becoming so much stronger from all that time off was, was definitely a positive and kind of over, overtook all of the, the negatives that came about not competing. From, from the date of your surgery, it's going to be about four months to you clear to throw. And it doesn't right. matter how good you feel at month three, you're still not going to be cleared to throw until right. month four. So from four months until you know, nine months or so, or building arm strength, you know, you kind of lay it out on a calendar for mm -hmm. and, uh, and tell them along the way, your risk of re-injury decreases as the time goes on. So, right. yeah, that's, that's definitely part of it. Uh, obviously, the, the height of the mound, it's new stress for the elbow, right. new stress for the shoulder. Um, just being on the mound, it kind of ramps up their intensity a little bit to their internal uh, competitive juices, right. so to speak. So that's part of it as well. So, and, you know, at that point, you can talk about mound work in, in the early months, but at this point, it's time to go and they can see the, the carrot kind of dangling a little bit. Yeah. You know, and they, you know, it becomes, it becomes real. The, the toughest part is getting to that point. Right. You know, once they get on the field, they know that. Yeah. They know yeah. the field. They can't wait to get and play catch. Bobby, right. Bobby throws this Saturday yeah. for the first time. It's getting him to that point. Yeah. And then the next, then it's boredom sets in because he's going to be a, he's going to be a lengthy period of time just playing catch. Yeah. You know, 60 feet. Yeah, but getting to that point, I think, is when they when when they throw that first one and they get through that first week, they feel like okay, there's light at the end of this tunnel. Let's go. You know, the biggest help was going through that and, and really fully becoming 100% uh, committed towards the decision to, to go through with surgery. Right. And um, you know, once we did that, it was pretty easy. It was, you know, I was so dedicated and so committed to returning and recovery. Um, that decision was already made. Uh, the work was already going to be there. So once uh, you know, looking forward, I, I you know, I really wanted to know what you know, how long it really took them to you know, start really letting it go. For me, I was everything was so smooth and, and you know went so well, and I felt so strong that um, you know I was kind of able to do that at an earlier time time frame. So. You know, I really, I, I was really going off a of feel and how my body felt, and you know, not necessarily going off of what somebody else has been through. Right? Uh, Matt has met every milestone. Right. Matt is Matt. That's what makes him special. Right. I don't predict any problems at all. He has right. not missed a beat. He has hit everyone right on the head, and I don't know what he's all about today. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you work with him for the for the full year, or what have you? Some, you know, some of them go years. Before they get hurt, so you get to get a chance to know them real yeah. well, and yeah, it's it's a big it's a big deal. So I feel really good about it. Cool, yeah. great. You know, after going through some tough times in, in in this game, I think you know you look at the positives continuously. Um, you know how thankful you are to to be healthy and be and to have this surgery and, and uh, you know be able to move forward.